hello everyone welcome back to maca's kitchen tv if you're new here you're very welcome in today's video we are going to be making cookies and cream cake you guys this is the most anticipated video this video has been on my to-do list for a very long time so if you want to see how to make this stay tuned and keep on watching and please do not forget to subscribe let's get started so to get started first thing we are going to do is to grease our cake pan so over here i have my eight inches cake pan so that is what i'll be using for my cookie cookies and cream cake and you guys just make sure you grease them properly with some butter just like the way shown in this video adding your parchment pepper just like so once you are done with that make sure you set this aside so next we are going to be adding in some cornstarch or corn flour adding some baking powder and baking soda so this is the my vanilla cake base and it's also my red velvet cake base that i'm using so it's just i just switched up things a little bit i'll make sure to stay everything together to combine so once you're done with that this is my cookies and cream my oreo cookies so i'll make sure to pour this into a ziploc bag and mash them up just like so until i get something like a crumb like texture it's perfect so next i'll be adding in my butter into my bowl and make sure your butter is nicely melted once you're done with that go ahead to mix with your hand mixer so at this stage i'll be adding in my sugar so i'll make sure to list everything in the description box as you draw so once i'm done adding in my sugar i'll add in my vegetable oil so i'll make sure to cream everything together until it's perfectly smooth once you're done with that you're going to go ahead to add in four eggs just add them in one at a time please do not just pour in all your eggs so make sure you cream properly before adding in the next one so that is what we are doing here so once you are done creaming all your eggs sugar butter so next thing we are going to do you guys i love using white vinegars for all my cakes it makes the cake very soft so i'll be adding in my vanilla extract so i'm using plain vanilla extract here so once i'm done with that i'm going to set the hand mixer aside i'll add in half of my dried ingredients and mix properly with my hand mixer so i'll continue doing this until i exhaust all my dried ingredients so i'll be adding in the remaining one and i'll be adding in my buttermilk just like so just add them in and keep mixing this bit by bit so please do not over mix your butter at this stage i'm going to use my hand mixer my spatula sorry to bring everything together and make sure there is no lumps so once i'm done with that i'll go ahead to add in my oreo crumbs just like so mix them in with my spatula so you guys this is perfect this cake was so delicious soft so at this stage i'm going to transfer my butter into my cake pan greased cake pan divide them into two you can as well weigh this out but i'm just eyeballing this so when you are doing this make sure you've started preheating your oven so i'll go ahead now to bake my cake for at least 30 to 40 minutes so at this stage our cake it's ready so one came out first and it's properly cold so i'll make sure to flip them over so you guys will see how it looks like if you want to frost your cake you can as well trim them off so at this stage my cake it's perfectly cold you guys this was so soft so next thing we are going to do is to frost our cake and you guys i'll be using my most stable whipping cream frosting so i have my gelatin here i've just added in some warm water and i'll allow this to dissolve once it's nicely dissolved i'll set this aside over here i'll be adding in two cups of whipping cream just like so and i'll be adding in half cup of sugar so you guys this is my most stable whipping cream and this can stay in your kitchen counter on top of your cake without putting them in the fridge for a very long time so i'll make sure to whip this up now then add in my mixed gelatin and vanilla extract so i'm using plain vanilla extract here 
so i'll make sure to mix everything in just like the way shown in this video so i'll add in my leftover oreo crumbs and fold everything in so if you want to get this perfect consistency for your whipping cream you're going to use gelatin so once you're done with that you're going to frost this cake very fast so we'll not waste lots of time in frosting our cake i've just added in my frosting which is the whipping cream frosting that i just showed you guys earlier on so i'll make sure to distribute them like so so once i'm done with that i'm going to add in the next layer of our cake so you guys this is it so i'll make sure to cover with my whipping cream frosting just cover them up just like so you don't need to beautify this just make sure it's covered just like the way shown in this video distribute your them evenly you can just get this and practice from time to time you get used to this at home you can also make your baby's birthday cake so once you're done with that you're going to scrape the sides just like so at this stage we are done we are going to clean up the sides of our cake and i'm going to be piping this with one a piping tips so you can also pipe any design styles of your choice so just pipe anything so once you're done with that we are going to add in some oreos by the side to beautify this cake a little bit and we are going to add in some oreo crumbs by the side and on top of our cakes so that is what we are doing here if you like this video please do not forget to share my videos to friends family and your loved ones and please do not forget to subscribe for more amazing video you guys i have amazing content coming up real soon and now please follow me on my social media platforms instagram and facebook page at amaka's kitchen tv i'll be showing you guys how the cake looks like on the inside you guys this cake was so delicious so this is how it looks like on the inside oh well, thank you so much for watching please do not forget to subscribe share this video to friends family and loved ones i'll see you guys on my next one bye bye see you soon